What's going on, people? Ben here from Bentley Tots Tottenham, back with another video of my dad, Paul. Hello. As we have beaten Manchester United 3 0 at Old Trafford today in what is probably our best performance of the season and our most convincing win of the season as well. And you've got to say today, Man United were absolutely awful, but we did also play them off the park, didn't we? Uh, completely. And to get a clean sheet as well at Old Trafford, it's quite something. But yeah, everyone played really well. And of course, there were incredible, outstanding performances from Mickey and Kulu. Mm, yeah, very much so. And since we beat them 6-1, that famous game at Old Trafford, we had only beaten Man U one, in, one time in seven games before today. Mm. So that is a good... Well, good way to sort of end that rot of not really winning at Old Trafford or, well, in general, because we lost a couple at home as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a brilliant day all round for Spurs and I think that should provide the team with a lot of confidence going into the future. Yeah, that's the main thing is that... Uh, three the, points the, the, is three points, yeah, but confidence of doing it at Old Trafford is Yeah, building the confidence thing. over a period of time, four wins and four goals. Yeah. For uh, Brennan Johnson and yeah. Solanke, goal per game as yeah. well. Yeah, they're doing very well at the moment, aren't they? Really responding to the haters, aren't they? Mm. Solanke, you know, it took him a couple of games to get into it at Spurs. Then he got injured. So it all was a bit of a not very ideal start for Solanke at Spurs. But last three games, he's really hit the ground running, hasn't he? Yeah. And today, today and the other game, and even the Brentford game, they're all sort of your classic striker's goals, weren't they? Just being yeah. there in the right time. Being in the right place, in. both him and Johnson, just being there at the right time. Yeah. Knowing what's going to happen, what's going to come. Yeah. I mean, that first goal <laughs> that we score where Van der Ven makes that brilliant interception in our hour and half mm. and just runs and runs and runs, a bit like the Everton game. Yeah, and then it was to get down to the byline, whip it in for Johnson at the back post. And that sort of goal, not from Mickey making a run from centre-back, but that sort of goal we've seen a lot under Ange Postecoglou, haven't we? Where mm. player out wide crosses it to the back post for a tap-in. That's really a, something we've done a lot of in the last year or so. And he allows them all to go forward whenever they yeah. feel they can. Yeah, 100%. So it was great to see Brennan Johnson score that. And let's be honest, Brennan Johnson could have had another one. That time he hit the post, post in the second, mm. in the first half still, that was an unbelievable chance. Mm. And Spurs could have scored five, six, seven, eight today, really, yeah. couldn't we? Some people think if Son had been on, we might have scored. Yeah, well, you've more. got to look at the other attackers that are on the pitch. Obviously, Solanke, we spoke about, mm. it was a great run from him for that corner. But his general all-round game was pretty good today, his hold-up play. Mm. But like I said, that corner, the goal, good flick on from Pape Sarn, and that's just a striker's finish, being yeah. there in the right place at the right time. And a lovely corner from Bergvall. Yeah, yeah, brilliant corner from Bergvall. But then we look at Vern, obviously, in the left wing, that in terms of his build-up play and his combinations of other players, had an all-right game today, mm. but his finishing in front of goal, mm. again, was awful. Um, let's be honest, if Sonny's there in those two positions, mm. he was in a, in one-on-one with Onana, we'd probably 5 nil up in the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's not. It wasn't Timo's day in front of goal, and we've got to hope that we can recover some other players from injuries because mm. we're looking a little bit um, slim up front. Mm. Mikey Moore obviously came on in that second yeah, half. Maybe he that. could have come on a little bit earlier, but mm. he had a decent cameo, a couple of nice touches, yeah. good chasing, and then he had that shot right at the end, which yeah. looked like for a second it could have been rifling into the top mm. corner. And what a goal that would have been! Yeah. Imagine mm. that you're. Mm. First time playing at Old Trafford as a 17-year-old yeah. kid and you curl yeah. one into the top corner. <laughs> yeah, exceptional. So, yeah, let's hope we to see a lot more of it. Mm. And do you think that midfield partnership, I think that's working incredibly yeah. well. Benson Core playing <laughs> really well. Madison and Kulisevsky, wow. Yeah. The two of them again Very today. Strong. Absolutely brilliant against Brentford at the weekend mm. and unbelievable today. Unstoppable, really, weren't they? Yeah, and Karabag. Yeah, okay. Kul you know, Kulisevsky created nine chances today. That's more chances than Man United mm. have created at Old Trafford this season by one of the, any one of their players. I think it was Casemiro created five or something. <laughs> Haven't we scored and, more goals at Old Trafford this yeah. season than Man U? Yeah, Man U, I think it's one goal at Old Trafford all season, potentially. Mm. So yes. Man U had mm. a dreadful start at home this season. And, mm. you know, Man U are a weird team, aren't they? They can play quite well. Last mm. season, they won the FA Cup final against Man yeah. City. Yeah. But then they can also have games like this yeah. where they just totally fall apart. Yeah, and uh, Ericsson's com um, questioning their commitment, mm. the players. Mm. Um, On the red card for Bruno Fernandes, which made it go bad from work mm. to, for Man United, what mm. did you think? Well, I thought the linesman's reaction was quite significant because mm. he was vigorously waving his flag immediately mm. as if it was something serious. But looking at the replays, it looks, it, it looks like Fernandes slipped, mm. but he still obviously 
fouled him and made mm. a yellow card. It's a question of whether it was... A yellow or a red. Uh, yeah, del- deliberate malicious intent. Mm, I'm not sure. I think it's a difficult one. You can see the argument of he doesn't need to go in for it after he slipped, but mm. equally he has slipped and it wouldn't mm. have been as bad. So it's a difficult one, really. Mm. Mm. Um, is it... It's probably what they'll say is, is it a clear and obvious error to overturn the decision? Who knows? Yeah, but, well, the VAR would have looked at it yeah, as well. And deemed it was still a red card. Would they have given it from it originally being a yellow? Don't know. Would they mm. have changed that decision? I'm not sure they necessarily would have. No. But equally, it didn't look like the best of challenges, did it? No, no, that's right. Well, that's clean sheet, three goals, could have been a lot more. Good performance from Spurs again. Yeah. We look to Brighton next weekend. Obviously, the Europa League game in midweek as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but today was a pretty good day for Spurs, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really good. Yep. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, come on, you Spurs! Spurs.